A Fort Myers Beach favorite is back. Doc Ford's reopened the last hour for the first time since Hurricane Ian. Now it has been 10 months of recovery and rebuild for the hotspot. And the comeback celebration is now underway. Week News reporter Tiffany Rizzo is there live. And Tiffany, this is a big deal for the beach. Definitely a big deal, Nicole. About 100 locals were lining up waiting for them to cut that ribbon. And as you can see behind me, this place is popping. Everybody's enjoying themselves in here. Even with this weather, they don't mind. You know, it has been a long 10 months. Staff has been busy working to get dock boards back up and running after it faced lots of damage from Hurricane Ian. And today, that hard work is paying off. The building has a fresh paint job, all new bar tops, and is back to its former glory. Dock boards opening not only gives those on Fort Myers Beach a place to hang out and have a good time, but it also gives them the rest of the island hope. Now I'm here with Jerry and Maria who has been coming to Dock Courts for over a decade and you guys said it has been a long 10 months of waiting to get back here. Oh yeah, we, I mean we've been waiting for this for almost a year and uh, we were just happy. We just came here at 11.03 today. You guys made sure you got here for the opening. What have you guys been wanting to order? What are your favorite things on the menu? Oh my God, uh, fingers, uh, finger, uh, uh, fish fingers and the crack cakes. Awesome. They're unbelievable. Oh, and of course, you know, rum. I mean, we're in Southwest Florida, so rum is a the drink. You guys are having a good time. That sounds delicious. Well, I know you guys are regulars here, so you're excited to be back. Yes, we are, and uh, you know, we hope the best for the uh, the company. So we'll be patronizing the, the place. One more business just back open on Fort Myers Beach, keeping this community strong. And again, they open up at 11 o'clock, and they have their full menu. Reporting live on Fort Myers Beach, Tiffany Rizzo, Wake News.